Hello guys, my name is Mr. God Assassin and welcome to Christmas. Merry Christmas everybody and happy holidays for everyone else who doesn't believe in Christmas. So today we're doing another gaming setup video. It's actually the Christmas update of it because, you know, after Christmas some things do change and some things don't change. So let's go take a look at what has changed. As you can see up here on the screen, I am actually doing something that's called moving the games over because as you guys already may or may not know, there's something I wanted for a while so I could play more games without having to uninstall them. And that is this bad boy right here. It's going to be kind of hard to see because it's black. It's the next, the Seagate 2 terabyte external flashlight, uh, <laughs> flashlight, flash drive. It has a nice little, like, design on the top. It says, like, 2 terabytes right here or something like that. It's a Seagate. And this thing works like a beauty. And what we're doing right now on the screen is we're moving anything that's digital to the to the external, so that we have more room in the internal for these games here. These are the disc games I also got on sale for Christmas. I had some extra money, so I decided to go check out the deals. So I got a scary game, which I've done three parts for so far. Uh, series. It's Alien Isolation. Dying Light, which I've beaten this already, but if you guys want to see it, let me know. Dead Rising 3, which I never played, but watched tons of YouTube videos on it. I heard that it was okay, so that may be worth a try. And of course, my personal favorite, which I'm excited to play, Borderlands The Handsome Collection, which has Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel, which I still need to beat Borderlands 2, but it's remastered, so maybe it'll be even better. I actually never played it. And of course you guys know my favorite movie so far of gaming world is Forward of the Dawn for Halo 4. Which that's nothing really special, is it? <laughs> Alright, for anyone else who's new to the channel, we're doing all the updates for all the TV. I have a 32, I have a 32 UH Scepter TV I bought about a couple weeks ago. Works fantastic. I just had to fix the graphical problem. But other than that, it worked fantastic. And uh, actually... I will show you if anyone has any questions about how the external works. See, this is what it says up here. It's a storage device. It says terabyte, Dan's terabyte, which is my real name, Dan. Uh, my Tomb Raider, my Just Cause 3, my Shovel Knight, and Rainbow Six are in there. But in the internal, that's what's going to be in there. So far, as you can see, Alien Isolation, which is in this pile of games here. It's good. Any disc games are going to be installed in the hard in the actual internal hard drive. And anything after that, well, then we'll start installing here. And if you guys remember, if anyone who's new to the channel, I have tons of games. I mean, so many games, I don't even know what to do with them. There's too many games. And some of them are backward compatibility, like all the Gears of War. If you guys want me to do a Let's Play of all of them, I will be more than glad to do it for you. But there will be no multiplayer on any of these games because... I'm not into that, okay? I'm well I'm into the new Gears of War, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, the real game. I have that, I can do multiplayer for you on there. But I'm not gonna do any multiplayer on these four. Uh GTA 5, Halo Reach is now on there. Okay, there's I have the Halo uh Spartan Assault 1 and 360 editions. Killer Instinct, the free version with one character I bought for them. Free game, Mad Max, that's a great game. I love Mad Max. Metal Gear Solid 5 and, and Ground Zero and Phantom Pain. Don't expect any videos on that. That just takes too much time. Hey Austin, how you doing? Um, a lot of backward compatibility games. Neverwinter, uh, Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark Zero, both copies. Because um, one's the Rare Rare Collection, which would probably be up here in the list somewhere. Yep, right here. The Rare Replay Collection has all these games, so some of them, that's why they're doubled. Because it has the 360 version that I had, plus the Rare Replay Collection. So, it has doubles, I don't know why. You can kind of see the gold is the Rare Replay version of it. Which is literally the same game, with a different label on the front. I have Rainbow Six Vegas, the beta for Star Wars Battlefront, which sucked to me. I did not like it at all. And there's just so much little single player game. There's a new, the first Tomb Raider, the Definite Edition. Uh, Thief down here. World of Tanks, and now we're at the end of the list of Wards Battleground. So there's tons of games here, so don't be afraid to leave a comment down below of this video if you guys want to see anything special here. 
All right, enough with the uh, external terabyte and all that. So let's move on to some more of the hardware. Most of you already know, who are new to the channel, I use PX30, uh, PX22 MLG editions of Turtle Beaches. I've had them for over a year now, and they still work amazing. I love them, I love them, I love them. And they just work amazing. They have never broken on me. What makes them last longer, I think, is if you get the new controller, where you'll only need the beginning wire for this headset, it makes the controller last longer. Getting rid of that stupid block where it controls all the volume, where now you can actually do it in game. You know, I think I can actually show you. Because right here is one of the new things I bought for Christmas for myself. It's the newer edition of the Xbox One controller, improved thumbsticks. I bought the I bought a new set of these down at GameStop for ten dollars uh, because my old ones are wearing out already. It comes with these jack. It comes with this jack right here, which I'll try and show you here. See what you do. You just get the basic jack. plug it in all the way and then it registers that this has a headset in it so when you go up here see we'll back out and we'll go all the way to the left over here on the left side it gives you all the options for your headset now it's headset volume headset chat mixer just like the original turtle beach mixers so it's not much of a difference now so it's really cool and then as soon as you unplug it it disappears see it just it works out very very well for what I need it for and I love this turtle beach and I absolutely love my new controller um, it just feels a lot better now we're on to another thing that I purchased recently as you can see here it says energizer battery pack I bought two of them it came with a set over here which I'm going to have to show you right now Right over here is my new battery pack controller charger over here. As you remember, this is my old controller with the chat with the old pad on here so I could play my headset on it. Because if you guys remember, the first edition of the controllers, you had to buy this stupid this stupid thing to play jack. So you needed the jack back then. And see right here there is no jack in the light, there's no jack here on this controller. So I had to buy this adapter. So I can even play with my uh, my turtle beaches, which is fine. It only cost me forty bucks uh, when I first bought it, of course. But it was a need of necessity. So how this thing works? When it dies, you just kind of just slide it on there, and it turns red. And when it's done, it turns green. It's a very very cool thing. And I was charging this one for backup, so that was already done. It turns green when it's all done. Let's put our headset back here, huh? Alrighty then, that's pretty much it for that setup for the gaming console. It worked out very well this year for Christmas. I'm really happy with the setup I have. Um, I still got lots of other work to do for the moving all the games and installing it so I get back to school. It may take a while, but I'll get them all. No problem whatsoever. Now for anyone who's new to the channel, doesn't know about my new baby over here, this is my new Len Lenovo laptop. It has a really nice uh, AMD A8 uh, CPU with a, like a I think it has like 210 processing power on it, two gigahertz of processing power. Pretty average, but it works very very well for what I need it for. Uh, we'll change that out of there. Uh, it has all my basic necessities on here. What I need my uh, my video editing software, my Elgato software. Uh, nothing's hooked up right now because it's Christmas so I'm just making this quick video to show you guys what I all got for Christmas and what I did get what I mostly purchased for myself the only thing I can say that I did not buy myself was this external hard drive uh, my parents bought that for me as a kind of like an early Christmas and birthday gift so that was like a $95 purchase it was pretty cheap on Amazon so if you guys want one just look up Seagate Xbox one 3.0 USB drive to whatever amount of terabytes you want you'll find one for I think between 65 to 150 dollars depending on the amount I got two because it was under 100 and it was the max I could get afford okay so for people here this is has uh, one terabyte of hard drive space and eight gigs of RAM 
So this thing runs fantastic for almost any computer game. Even with a basic graphics card, I just have to lower the graphics on every game, which, which is weird because as you can see right here, I play League of Legends right down here. And I play that offline once in a while when I get bored of playing the Xbox. I go ahead and play League of Legends. And it runs beautifully with the highest settings possible, which I don't understand. Uh, I guess it's that RAM prob uh, the RAM and good internet and the good graphics card, I guess. It just works amazing. I really do love it. Alright, that's pretty much it to show you guys. About a ten and a half minute video showing my gaming setup. The only thing I have to show you is again for people who don't know who I use my mic on to record my voice. Sometimes my voice doesn't come through because the I figured out that sometimes the setting right here, the smart audio likes to disable the mic audio at all. So I found that audio problem and I fixed it. So now my audio is not coming back through. This is the basic Apple uh, Apple headphones. See? Apple phones. Whatever you want to call them. And the basic microphone in it. And you plug it into the headphone jack of the laptop. It works just fine. It comes out crystal clear to me. It may not professional <laughs> it may not be the most professional way to do it, but it gets the job done for me. And a basic mouse, wireless mouse. Oh, got that like last year. I uh, got this like last year for myself when I first got my major laptop. Uh, it works great for gaming, it works good for basic, it's Logitech, it works fantastic. And that's pretty much it, I think. Thank you guys so much for enjoying another round of gaming setup video. I know I already did one before, but I wanted to do a quick update on the gaming setup. And there's actually one thing left that we could show you, that I could show you, and it's right up here. For anyone who's interested, who has been following my channel since the beginning, the achievement score is over 118,000 gamer score right now. Which is ridiculous. Um, I checked that this morning and it works amazing. And I can't even believe it myself. I checked that out this morning. And it looks like the Xbox Live is up for now. Uh, don't quote me. It may go down later. So I'm going to keep an update on it for you guys. I'll let you know. And thank you guys so much for watching my gaming setup video. Leave a like and leave a comment down below what your gaming setup is like. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Merry Christmas. And I'll see you guys on the next video.